Thinking back to a time in my life And I was free and easy, just doing it right And not giving up on a dream I had planned But the road to happiness, it may never find you again Slip away, never to come true But I'm not giving up for the future I can't amend Can't amend Look on through the falling rain, my friend See your destiny again and again And don't you give up until the end See the rainbow through the pouring rain There's a rainbow through the pouring rain a young son and I try and stay as active as possible and uh, I'm involved with my family. I think meeting other people with spinal cord injuries is an asset to living with a spinal cord injury because there's so many things in common you know and for me uh, I know that I've helped other people with spinal cord injuries now um, after being injured so long ago I can help somebody and make an easier road for them just with certain experiences I've encountered. Well I like to um, go cycling with my family and I like to swim and I like to kayak. I got involved with them because it was one way of being out with my, um, my husband and son. Anyone with an injury is going to encounter problems along the way and, and they're all obstacles that can be overcome and I think it's just within time and, and learning and and kind of being aware that not every day is going to be good and um, you know and that there are people to help people available as a resource that have been through it also they're not the only ones My wife, primarily, it was really her all the time, the support at home. Well, we uh, go to movies, go to restaurants, I'm involved with hand cycling, I play tennis, uh, do summer sailing, and um, some of them have come by word of mouth and others have been, I've been introduced at GF Strong or through the uh, BC Paraplegic Association. Well, I think the peer program is a, an excellent idea. Um, it's nice to have people you can talk to and reach out to, people who may share your injury or your age group or the same kinds of things that you're thinking about. So I think it's a very, very good idea, a very good concept. Oh, yeah, since my injury, oh, certainly I didn't think I'd drive the car or play tennis or uh, be back in the workplace, at least visiting. I didn't think we'd do a lot of those things at all. Shower or any of those, uh, I never thought I'd do them. There's a, there's a fellow that I'm uh, working with r right now that uh, is at GF Strong and um, I've been doing some music with him. What helped me to, to cope a lot was um, getting involved in, actually sports was a big part of it for me when I was growing up. Uh, I was involved in wheelchair sports, did a lot of swimming, competing, and was in and around other, other uh, people with disabilities, so I found it really inspirational. I, I work in an office. I enjoy the kind of work I do. I work, I work with a lot of people in the community and I help develop programs that help people find jobs. There wasn't a peer program, specifically a peer program, when I was say in my teens and I think that would have really been a, a good thing. I'm currently employed at GF Strong as a vocational rehab counsellor uh, developing plans for people with recent disabilities or chronic disabilities. 
in terms of return to work plans or um, retraining or upgrading their education and doing assessments and finding funding for those endeavors. In terms of the PEER program, it certainly worked in conjunction with what I try to emphasize to people is that there is a life after GF Strong and that you can develop a career or an educational goal and I certainly use people that uh, are representative of the peer program that are uh, in wheelchairs that have had spinal cord injuries as an influence to show that yes these are examples of people that are out there living their lives and getting on with whatever endeavors that they feel are important to them. When I, uh, I was going through uh, both GF Strong and Lionsgate and after I met a lot of different people, most notably Stan Strong, being someone that had lived for many, many years with a disability and had a lot of experience, was able to explain a lot of things to me that obviously with a new injury I didn't really understand. So I would say certainly him and others I met along the way through GF Strong that sort of pointed out that there was a future after spinal cord injury in terms of a life and education and work, so I think that was very important. In a lot of ways, there's a number of ways that they help, but probably the biggest is simply just knowing that there's someone there that I could easily call up or bump into and say, you know, this really sucks or I'm really frustrated over this. A student, <laughs> I'm a student with a capital S. <laughs> I have been for a very long time. Um, I have one year left in my undergrad and then uh, two years after that for a master's program. And then hopefully I'll be able to work in the real world, make some money. <laughs> Currently I am racing. Um, I've been doing wheelchair racing for about three years. I got involved through BC Wheelchair Sports. Definitely family. Um, I, I grew up in Manitoba. It was a very small town. Um, family and friends. Uh, when my family found out that I had been injured, they flew from everywhere. I mean, I've been injured for 14 years now, and I don't want to sort of give the impression that there aren't going to be days where I feel down. And uh, that's something that it's always going to be there, but the nice thing is that those days are less and less as I, as I grow older and deal with my, my spinal cord injury a lot better. Um, and having people to talk to gets me through those sorts of things. Um, getting involved as much as you can. Um, it's really important not to just accept having a spinal cord injury and think that that's it, that's the end of it, that there's nothing out there. There's so many possibilities. My life has been free and adventurous, uh, entrepreneurial, I like exploring the unknown, I love being active, trying to, uh, you know, take care of myself and hopefully inspire some others to do the same. Right now I'm partners in a software development company and so we write software that runs a small piece of the internet. Uh, we host people's websites and uh, manage their storefronts. Post spinal cord injury, it's a process that, that everyone has to go through, whether it's right away or a year later or two. Um, it'll come, but it is a process and it is something that you can emerge from on the other side. No one really saw it, but it was a pretty rough time, but with kind of lots of love and support and continuous work and kind of it takes a lot of initiative, but get out there and get going again. Uh, you know, you, you work through it, and uh, the person that you can become is much richer and much fuller and much more able to participate energetically and spiritually, I think. The support uh, in this province and in the peer program in, in particular is, is uh, really excellent. The resources here would certainly allow someone to get up and get going much quicker and deal with deal with it in a more positive uh, more positive way. Hi, I'm Brad Jacobson with the BCPA Peer Program. As you've seen, the program is about people moving on with their lives. If this interests you or you want to get involved, you can contact us at the BCPA.